Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to another Random Encounter. In a Random Encounter, it's a game mode that I play once a week. It's, well, it's not actually a separate game mode. But in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, you have this little random button under the custom battles. And that allows you to just randomize what sort of a fight you're going to get. It randomizes your uh, your nation, your age, uh, the, uh, the distance to the enemy, and the formation of your fleet. So by hitting this one a couple of times, I constantly get different sorts of fights. And the way that this works is I hit this thing five times and then I hit quick start. So I don't really get to look at what sort of age I have, what sort of distance I have, and I only get to see what sort of ships the enemies have when I actually get into the battle, or well, just before. Normal videos with the ship design will be, of course, one day later. They always do those uh, the day after. But for these ones, it's a training for myself to just make do with the ships that I get. Now, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, click. I saw 1928. Um, I think it was 14,000 meter range. We're playing. Let's see what sort of fleet formation we have. Playing against the Japs, by the looks of it. One battleship versus two. Two battle cruisers versus two, one heavy versus heavy, light versus light, DD versus two DDs. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. Because I'm missing a battleship. Alright. What you got? We got the Almirante Altequera. Sorry, Antequera. A DD with many bulkheads, a speed of 38 knots, and torpedo tubes, fortunately ranging out to 11 clicks, with pretty damn good torpedo visibility, for me. Minus 70%. That's the only DD I have, so I better carefully treat this thing. Unfortunately, it only comes with three tubes, and the rest of it is a gunboat. Turning circle, ooh, not that good for a DD. Then, we have heavy cruiser Catalunya. 8-inch guns, a couple of them, that's uh, 9 barrels total, we got a couple of 5-inch guns, 4-inch guns, 2-inch and more 2-inch, and quadruple torpedo tubes, again ranging 11 clicks. The light cruiser, oh by the way, um, many bulkheads, very good. Garitano, standard amount of bulkheads, 6-inch guns and a lot of 3s. Armor quality, 118%. Pretty useful asset. On to the bigger ships. Perla and Aquila. 13-inch guns. Speed for a battlecruiser, not great. Turning circle. Mm -hmm. 921. 13-inch guns, firing high TNT propellant. That's pretty advanced stuff. Reloading every 35 seconds. Range, 22 clicks. And they can inflict some serious damage if they hit. Few bulkheads. Lovely. And then the Lanfranco. 17 inch guns. With a range of 26.4. A reload of 84 seconds. Good god man. If these things hit. They do 27,000 damage at the most. So if you were to hit a destroyer with no armor. 84 second reload. Okay. 8 inch casemates, just the two. Some 7 inch guns, 4 inch guns, and threes. Bulk. Oh no. Minimum bulkheads. Deck armor, not great. Belt armor, reasonable. That's gonna be a rough fight. Especially if, since I'm fighting several battleships at once. Looks like a pretty traditional battleship. Definitely not 17 inch guns. Dreadnought style. Casemates. Uh, it almost looks like they fused a couple of either 6 or 8s together. What else you got? The battle cruisers. Pretty sizable guns for a battle cruiser. No casemate guns? No, one on the bow? One on the stern. This thing could be subjected to torpedo attacks. Especially from closer range, because it doesn't seem to have a lot of defense against it. Heavy cruiser? 
Uh, what is that? Eight? Eight inch guns? Torpedoes? Quadruple? Yeah, quads. Let's say eight, eight inch barrels. Light cruiser. Oof. This thing's no fun at all. That's one, two, three, four, five, six turrets. Times three barrels each, that's 18 guns. Plus some smaller defensive armament, probably in the range of two to three inch. And torpedoes. This is gonna be a really rough fight. Really rough. Lanfranco to port. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to try and blow away one of their battleships. Pella, Aquila, sorry, Aguila. Uh, you guys are not in range. Okay. Your speed 28, your speed 25. I'm going to have you guys join the battleship group. Both of you. I just hope that they're more or less in a decent formation. Yeah, not quite. The DD, you're going to make a torpedo attack. The light cruiser, you're going to follow the battleship. I'm just going to wait out the fight a bit. And the heavy cruiser is also going to make a torpedo attack. Here we go. Lanfranco. Well, Lanfranco, you're going to get busy. Really, really busy. If only, or well, if not only by firing, then also by fighting fires. And floodings and such. Anti-flood, two. Ox, three. That's going to help me with damage. Oh, good lord. That's not helpful. Oh, man. The Almirante is almost down. She's still flooding. She has two damaged engines and her speed's going to go down to 14 knots. I'm not going to be able to get into torpedo range at all. Well, maybe... ...against this heavy cruiser. And even then, I'll only launch three torps. They already did 1100 damage. Yeah, that was a 9-inch gun. Oh no, there goes the Lanfranco already. Chance to hit 3%. Range finding... Stereoscopic 5 Gen 1 radar. It's pretty advanced from 1928. Almirante. Turn to starboard. Torpedo target. They are more or less coming this way, so maybe if I don't hit the cruiser, I might still hit something else that happens to blunder into range. It's a big if. Aggressive torpedo launch. I just want to get these things away. There we go. That's enough. Off we go. Heavy cruiser. Catalonia. I also need you to join in. And start delivering some torpedoes. You can deliver a slightly larger salvo. Ideally against this one here. Damn, I'm down to 83. Oh no, floodings. One, two, three, four floodings on the uh, along Franco. That ship's going to go down real quick. Leaving me with just two battle cruisers with 13 inch guns. Which probably don't have anywhere near the firepower that I will need. Buoyancy 37, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. DD's flooding again. 8, 4, 2. Lanfranco sinks. Well, that was si quick. That was six minutes in. Six minutes in, and they've sunk one of my major ships. That was very fast. The other asset that I was really banking on, the DD, is all but down. She's fighting her flooding, but not sufficiently. This is not looking good. Now, there were some torpedoes that were sent by the Almirante before she went down. Oh, here they are. I don't really expect those to hit. 
Unless this heavy cruiser does something blunderingly stupid. But I don't really find that to be a, a likely outcome. And here's the problem. I'm going to have to push in with battle cruisers. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know that battle cruisers in my game, they usually get the full hood experience. Which means that they tend to blow up. Either from a flash fire or an ammo detonation. They just don't have the staying power. Let's send out the torpedoes from the Catalunya. And then turn back. It's a really big torpedo boat. Just go aggressive. Alright, there we go. Turn back. Still turning. Torps are here. I'm not quite at the point of giving up, but it's going to be really, really tricky to come back from this one. But then again, that is what the random encounters are about. Working with the hand that you're dealt. Whatever happens to be in that hand. Okay, we got a notification. It's the Tokiwa. Heavy cruiser. 9-inch guns. 5-inch uh, torpedoes. We already spotted the torps on the deck. 8.6. 22-inch, though. Yikes. Mine? Also 22-inch. Okay. Ship's maneuvering. How good is your sonar system? Sonar 1. Right, so you'll probably be advised of the incoming torpedoes. Wherever they are. Here are some of the torps. Oh. Aguila is getting her guns blown off. Just a secondary gun though, but still. Catalonia, you still have plenty of torpedoes. Now, the identification of the battleship is what I'm also really looking forward to, so I know if I can torpedo it at all. I think that my chance to hit the Tokiwa is dreadful. 1.4. Bulkheads, minimum. Right, so one torpedo generally will kill you. anti forward 3, anti torp 3. Maybe one torpedo won't kill you. These torps are still running. But I'm not sure if they're going to run just long enough to hit this ship here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Those ships of theirs are getting awfully accurate. Come on. Land that torp. Is that's a battleship with low amount of bulkheads. This could be a pretty hefty blow. Come on, come on, come on. This is still one of the torps from the DD. And I believe that they were 22 inches as well. Here it comes, on the stern. 434, that's pretty sizable. I'm just not seeing much flooding going on yet. Now, the torpedoes from the Catalunya... I'm not even sure where they were launched. Oh! Hold on a minute, we had something else. That's the other torpedo from the DD. Okay, we got the battleship identified. The Chitose. Standard bulkheads, 16 inch guns. So you guys are battle cruisers then, right? ID 100. Come on. Yep, battle cruiser. Minimum bulkheads. Anti flood 3. You don't seem too happy about all that water on your stern. Neither of you. Now where the hell are the torps from the... Aquina, or what was it called? Catalonia. The Aquila is the battlecruiser. Hijiri. 
Seems to be still flooding. The strobes can do 11 clicks. Let's try and torpedo the Kiwa again. And maybe accidentally hit the Chitose behind it. That's my hope. Are you guys in range? Sort of. 91% chance to pen. Chance to hit those. Pretty fucked. Kita Hotaka. Also seriously damaged, but less so, because the torpedo seems to have struck a little bit further towards the stern. Can we launch torpedoes on the Acuna? Catalonia, please. Range, 9-2. We're definitely in range. Come on, girl. Torpedoes away. Hard to port. Hard to port. Get out of here. Get back, get back, get back. Get back, get back, get back. That's a lot of shellfire coming in, and you are only a heavy cruiser. Yeah, it was a two torpedoes from the DDs that were hitting the battle cruisers. But those battle cruisers are probably pumping the water back out as quickly as they can. 18% buoyancy on Hijiri. Oh, those torpedoes are just... Just fast. They could have sunk the uh, Kita Hotaka. My chance to hit the Hijiri is dreadful. Let's not waste any more effort there. Catalonia, back you go. Perla is still flooding. What am I going to do about her? Few bulkheads. Light cruiser. This light cruiser is not very useful. Maybe I can sort of deploy her as a distraction. Because I think that beyond that part, she won't really do that much damage. Let's just turn in. Torpedoes are still running. We got the Oi. Turning circle 492, Hydro 3. So far, the Catalonia is on fire, but she hasn't really sustained any serious damage yet. That belt armor, I think, is what's currently keeping her afloat. Oh, a DD! A tsunami! That's a lot of 22-inch torpedoes on you. I don't find myself winning this one. Even if I wanted to duke it out with the battle cruisers at range, I wouldn't hit them. If I would hit them, I wouldn't do enough damage. Because my chance to pen is probably somewhere in the... Oh, actually, it's quite good. 63. I was thinking to be in a range of 20, 25. If that. But no, it's quite good. Alright. Let's make one last grand gesture. Takiwa just launched torps at the light cruiser. How dare you? What's that bullshit? Those torpedoes of mine have run their course. No, they haven't. They're still here. But the battle cruisers have withdrawn. They're no longer where they once were, which is fairly close to the battleships. I think they decided that that might have been a bit too close for comfort. There are the incoming torpedoes. Catalonia, starboard turn. Hello? Oh, there they are. You're still trying to hit the battle cruiser. Garitano, turn back. You won't win this fight. Flooding on the light cruiser. Maxi bulkheads. Really? On a light? Okay. Parallel's on fire, but at least she's not flooding. Yet. Torpedoes are ready. 
My cruise has taken another hit. I want you guys to try and sink the Kita Hataka. Uh, no, sorry, not the Gatatano. Gatatano, take care of the Oi. I want to see if I can at least finish off a battle cruiser. So you and you target the Gari Hotana. Uh, sorry, Kita Hotaka. Catalonia, keep going. Keep going. I know you're in torpedo range, but I don't want to do it just yet. Turning circle, six six five. Not not too bad for a battle cruiser. I mean. Relative to mine, with a 921, it's pretty damn good. Um, Catalonia, 9-8. What their fleet should be doing is just charging me down. Just turn straight in and shoot the shit out of my battle cruisers. Fortunately, they haven't quite figured that out yet. What? Hold on, who's hitting the Hijiri? Catalonia? The Catalonia is trying to hit the Hijiri. No. No, 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 no. Those 8 inch guns can be far more useful against the light cruiser. Which does come with torpedoes. And I just launched them against a battle cruiser. Probably the Perla. Turn. Aquila, turn the other way. Eight. Osho. What was it? Standard bulkheads, anti torp. Four. Oh no. That means that you are going to be very, very resistant. Oh nice. More flooding on the uh, Kita Hotaka. Slowly, slowly flooding the ship. Catalonia, torp, port flank. Get ready. Go on, damn it. No. Not gonna do it. Fine. More flooding. My battle cruisers are paying a hefty price for this charge. But at least I'll be able to sink one and maybe even two battle cruisers. Going in a bit of a redemption arc there. There's another flooding hit. This time on the bow. Ooh. Flash fire. Next target. Heavy cruiser. Turn in. Turn in. You're going to take out the Hijiri. Catalonia, we're gonna turn in. The light cruiser? Whoa, you retreated a bit too far. Perla. Nice. Good damage on the Tokiwa. My fear is that I'm gonna get blown out of the water by the torps. Those torps. That's why I was already starting the turn. There's more. Keep turning. Uh oh. Yeah, there's one. Oi is starting to take some damage, but not the flooding that I'm looking for. As opposed to the Hijiri. Which does seem to be taking some flooding hits. Engine 3 damaged, great. Buoyancy 8%, there's another turp on the Perla. Perla flash fires and dies. Hijiri? Ooh, are you gone yet? Hijiri's gone. Battlecruiser sunk. For some reason, they're completely ignoring the Catalonia. Or they were too busy taking out a battlecruiser. That's another possibility. Look at that. I've done 14k damage. I've taken 12. Considering how quickly my battleship died, I'd say that's pretty effective. I am not disappointed by that result. Oh. You gotta go and ruin it for everybody, huh? The Oi has launched a torpedo. 
probably several. Oh, but you're out. You just spent all of them. Catalonia is still being ignored at the expense of the Aquila. I'm just charging the Catalonia in at this point. Oh, crap. Catalonia is going to be the next target. Uh, Hard to port. Torpedo the battleship. The Hosho. Turning circle 642. Whoa! I did not see that coming. Aggressive launch, port flank, target, Hosho. Drop. Drop, 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 drop. Torpedoes away. Hard to port. Kila's still here. Oh, that's about to change. Oh dear. I can't dodge that. I'm going to take it squarely on the nose. There it is. Maximum turn. Secondary is on the Mikazuki. The light cruiser probably spotted those torps, but it's... Anybody's guess whether the battleship is going to take a hint and actually go and do something about that? Good lord, that thing is close. 800 meters out. It does look like they're maneuvering to avoid. Or they're maneuvering to deal with the uh, Garitano. Whichever it is. Even if I hit though, I don't really think that I'll be able to do much damage. The Oi is taking serious damage. Most of the ship's burning and the other half is flooding. The Oi is down. Several torpedoes strike the Chitose. But those were not my torps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven torpedoes that were launched by the Isonami didn't strike the Garitano, but they did strike the Chitose. So the Chitose now has one, two, three, four, five sections flooding. Very unexpected, but I'll take it. Oh shit. And now the Tokyo has to come in and ruin it. She has to mess things up. She just dumps another salvo onto the Aguila. Which I cannot possibly avoid. There it is. Three torps hit. Catalonia, try and take out the Tokyo. <laughs> Just look at how badly the Chitose was hurt by their own destroyer. Good lord. Somebody's gonna get demoted. And probably kicked out of the IGN. 181 damage, another flooding hit. I've seen the AI hit their own ships. Just with the main guns, but I don't think I've ever seen them hit with torpedoes before. Turn. Yeah, there we go. Just about avoid it. Unfortunately, the Catalonia does not have any torpedoes ready, so it's going to be just down to the 8 inch guns versus the 9 inch guns from the Tequila. Not too bad. Minimum bulkheads. Just flood that thing out, will you? What's your chance to pen me? Not that good. My chance to pen you? Pretty damn good. Although I do seem to have some flooding issues. Oh, come on. 1600 meters out. I know the ship's on fire. But surely you can do better than that. You know what? Considering how we started this battle, I'd say the Spanish ships did pretty damn well. I actually expected them to die quite a bit faster than they have. 
and that I was not able to inflict as much damage. Of course, their DD, the Isanami, torping the Chitose really helped out. I didn't actually hope for anything like that, but, well, sometimes the AI just messes up their own ships. Catalonia just launched her port salvo against the Tequila. Tequila immediately maneuvers. Not so much because they were already planning that, I think, but just on accident. Hello. Tokiwa, cut that shit out. At least their torpedoes are empty. Well, the singular launcher. They still got a quadruple. I'm hoping to hit the Isanami, but I'm not sure it's gonna happen. Banzai Ram? Secondaries in the Tsunami, primaries on the Tokiwa. Click out. Barely any hits. Yeah, this is gonna be it for the Catalunya. Sorry, Catalunya. Structurals dropping due to all the fires. The buoyancy is going down due to all the floodings. Oh, the torpedoes aren't helpful. Oh, and there's a lot of torpedoes. And that's it for the Catalunya. Yep. That's the deal with some of these random encounters. Sometimes you get some really good chips, sometimes you get some really bad chips. But overall, I'd say we did pretty damn well. Thank you guys for watching. Again, normal service will be resumed tomorrow. And the normal design feature will also be included in that. So join me tomorrow. If you don't, then you're going to be missing out. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you soon for the next one.